Hey guys, what's up? Tyler with T-Game and Tech, and today I'm going to be reviewing a 6-inch Targus desktop tripod. So, I'm going to be going over a couple things I like, a couple things I don't like, so let's dive right into the review and check this tripod out. First thing we're going to see on the tripod is actually the mount on the top. And basically, you just spin on your camera or your video camera, and it just attaches like any other normal mount on any other tripod. And it is free-flowing, um, it rotates 360, and it kind of bends down in one spot, it rotates on a ball, and you can use this little... Um, switch to actually tighten it to any position. So this is what it looks like when all three legs are extended and it starts out around three inches but it's supposed to extend to six inches. So I think that's a great size for a desktop tripod, not too big and not too small. So I'm actually going to take a Nikon camera, I'm going to attach it and we're going to see how this actually looks on this desktop tripod. So we're just going to take our Nikon camera and we're going to twist it onto the universal mount of the tripod. And like I said, this works with any video camera or regular camera DSLR that has the standard tripod mount. So just twist straight on until it gets snug, and it seems like it's pretty sturdy on there. So if you release or tight, loosen the switch right here, you can move the mount around the actual tripod on the ball that it swivels on. And this rotates 360 degrees, like I've said before, and it rotates, um, it can go up and down on one side of the tripod. As you can see with it extended, it does look a little bit flimsy um, when it's extended only 3 inches, and I could see this as being a problem if you have a camera with a long lens, if you're for some reason needing a small desktop tripod for a camera with a long lens. I don't know if I suggest this because as you can see it tips over fairly easily. But we're going to see, open up the actual legs and extend it to 6 inches and it should be a little bit sturdier. So if we just extend them now and we're going to set it up, make sure they're all even. And you set it up now and you can see, um, you press it a little bit, it feels a lot more sturdier even just extending the legs the whole way to 6 inches. So I think definitely extending them is required if you're having a heavier uh, top heavy camera. If you have a camera with a lens, you're going to have to use a tripod extended. Um, so that's one thing. It might be a little bit flimsy if you have a top heavy camera that leans forward. Um, so that's one con about this actual tripod. So overall, I would say this is a good product. Um, it's a very sturdy tripod and it makes a great desktop tripod. I have it on my camera right now sitting on my desk. It doesn't take out take up much room at all. Um, you might run into a problem if you have a camera that has a heavier lens in the front. You might have problems with falling over, tipping over, but that's when I suggest that you extend it to its full six inches. That way it is more sturdier. So if you are interested in this product, I will put a link in the description below. And also don't forget to check me out on Twitter and on Facebook. So once again, thank you guys for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one.